really been enjoying myself in uh, our courses that we're having for body issues. And uh, when Pastor Marcel and Pastor Michelle uh, brought up this particular scripture, I thought, what is exactly what I want to do my spiritual exhortation on. So I'm known for, I think it's maybe about two weeks now, what I wanted to do. I hope it touches someone's heart this morning. My scriptural acceptation is coming from Proverbs 2, verse 1 through 6. And it simply says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. And my favorite verse 6 says, For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. Amen. So when I read this, I did just like they say it, um, in Bible school. I pulled out my beautiful dictionary and right. a few more books and I did some research and this is what I discovered. Wisdom is insight. Wisdom is essentially the choice to be godly. A wise person follows God's will, keeps his commandments, and lives his word. The knowledge of God's word gives us understanding of the guidelines he has laid out for us to follow. 1 John 5 and 20 says, So may you walk in the way of good men and keep the path of righteousness. In the biblical dictionary, wisdom's definition states, Wisdom is knowledge guided by insight and understanding. Reverence for God is the source of wisdom. That's Proverbs 9 and 10. Wisdom is more valuable than riches. Amen. That's Proverbs 8 and 11. And produces good fruit. That's James 3, 17. Christ is the key that opens the hidden treasure of God's wisdom. Colossians 2 and 3. Now knowledge reads, a body of facts or information gained through study and experience. Paul indicates that knowledge of God is to be desired above all else. Amen. The Lord gives wisdom unto his children. All we have to do is listen, open up our hearts to him, and allow the Holy Spirit to come in and give us that soft, sweet whisper. Y'all know sometimes you be like, wonder, wonder why I get that feeling from. Wonder why they say it that way. That's the Holy Ghost trying to lead you. All right. All right. So we need to trust in the Lord our God. Lean not to our own understanding, for his word is true. Not only will the Lord give us wisdom of his word, but also, but he will also give, it, give us wisdom during our difficult times. We're told to pray to the Lord for wisdom and knowledge as if we're hungry for it. Y'all know like the keys big for king. All right. Also, before we read the scripture, we should pray to ask God for understanding of his word. We need to carry ourselves as if we know the worth of his knowledge. Amen. Knowledge and wisdom are gifts from God. So the reward we receive for having this wisdom and knowledge of God is to inherit the riches of heaven. Search your scripture daily. That's what Acts 17 and 11 says. Because God's words are spirit and life, John 6 and 63. Lastly, we must feed on the word of God for our spirit man to prosper. I got that one from Pastor Gregory Dale Marcel. Right. Now, when you read God's word and you really get a good understanding for it, my two examples are this. In the commandment, it says, honor thy father and thy mother. So when you get a good understanding and the knowledge for God's word, you'll understand that it does not say you need to honor your mama if she's a good mom. Right. Well, you need to honor your mama as long as she do what you want her to do. As long as she buying you them hundred dollar shoes, right. you'll know that it just says simply honor thy mother and father. And lastly, um, it also tells us in the Bible, and I forgot to look up this particular scripture. It just got so good to me, but um, it tells us about paying our tithes. So, and, and in the commandments it says, "Thou shalt not steal." Well, when you read God's word and you have a full understanding of his wisdom, you'll know that stealing is just not going in the store picking up a sneaker right. or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. passing by my purse and taking five dollars out of it. Right. You'll know that when you don't pay your tithes, you're stealing from God. And the church said, Amen. 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 Great word. And we 
Everybody feeling exhorted? Amen. Thank God for his word. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you, Sister Danielle, for sharing with us.